Good afternoon, everyone, and a very warm welcome to today's webinar. We've got a fantastic session lined up for you today with a wonderful panel of guests. Joining us is Carolyn Williams, Business Systems Manager for Finance at NCC Group. And we've also got Ema Rooney, uh, one of our product managers for Smart Test here at Kanos. Real treat for you because combined, Carolyn and Ema have over 15 years of workday experience to share with you all shortly. As to myself, I'm Ian, I'm one of the product marketeers here at Kanos, and I'm super pleased to be your host throughout the webinar session today. <clears throat> So before we get fully started, I just wanted to highlight that today's webinar is the last in the series that we've been hosting throughout the entire preview period. So if you've missed any of the previous webinars, uh, then they are available on our website. So please do go check them out. Uh, many different insights, top tips uh, for planning, testing, deep dives into workday features, etc., all contained uh, within um, the previous webinars. But those of you who are brand new to Kanos, um, or just maybe a little bit of a recap for those that are a little bit more familiar with us, uh, I was just going to provide a quick overview for you all. Kanos is a long has a long-standing history of over 30 years of being IT innovators and problem solvers. And we're really, really proud to say that we have a strong 12-year working partnership with Workday. Couple our working relationship and being Workday client um, uh, ourselves, then you know, and a service provider for over three hundred and fifty clients in various industries and locations globally, uh, it puts us in a really unique position and fortunate enough to learn about some of the challenges that Workday customers are having. That then allows us to provide market leading solutions for those challenges um, via our exclusively designed suite of automated workday products, smart tests, smart audit and smart shield. So I hope that provides just a little bit uh, about Kanos and, and actually why we're here today um, ho hosting this webinar. And in terms of the, uh, the webinar today, it's jam-packed. Um, we've really designed it uh, for reviewing the preview window and to illustrate how the power of automated testing can help you. The flow of the session is to hear from one of your workday peers, Carolyn, uh, I've just mentioned, um, how um, Carolyn uh, progressed through the preview window, how it's all gone for NCC Group and, and Carolyn's team. And then we'll hear from Ema on Smart Test and how it uh, has helped Carolyn, uh, and then how it's also helped our 300 uh, uh, Kinos clients as well throughout the release window. So our hope is by discussing and reviewing the recent release window, it can help towards future planning, testing and deployment uh, for you. So um, let's get started. Uh, so with great pleasure, uh, I'd like to introduce our panelists today. Um, welcome, Carolyn. Welcome, Ema. And it's great to have you uh, back with us. Uh, Carolyn, um, I'd love to start with you, if that's OK. So just as a gentle reminder, uh, could you please provide a little introduction to yourself um, and of your workday experiences to everyone? Of course, Ian. And hi, everyone. I am Carolyn Williams, and I'm the Business Systems Manager here for Finance on behalf of the NCC Group. I've been at NCC for about five years now, and I've been operating in the Workday ecosystem for about that same amount of time. And, and those five years have gone by really quickly. And I can't believe we've just literally gone through our sixth workday preview window. A oh, wonderful experience there um, with six release windows under your belt, Carolyn. Thank you for that. Our second panellist today, as I mentioned earlier, was Ema. Uh, Ema is a colleague of mine here at Kanos. So uh, could you do the honours and introduce yourself, please, Ema? Absolutely, Ian. Hi, everyone. I'm Emma Rooney, and I've been working at Kanos for 18 years across multiple disciplines. So for the last eight years, I've been working in smart product function and currently lead on areas of smart test with the responsibilities to build and launch new testing modules each year. So this has been my 16th preview window that we have just completed. Wow, um, that's uh, that, that's quite a few there um, for you. Ima. Thank you for that. Um, definitely a huge amount of test, uh, smart test experience to be sharing with everyone today. Um, but I'm going to start with Carolyn, and I thought it'd be really nice for us to kick off proceedings with a little recap of NCC Group for everyone listening today, and then actually uh, what your approach was to um, to the preview window and and how you went about uh, your testing plan. Sure, Ian. 
Okay, just to recap on the NCC group, we are a global cyber and software resilience business, and we operate across multiple sectors, geographies, and technologies. As a business, we were founded in 1999, and we've grown significantly with revenues now totaling over £300 million per annum. Amazingly, we've got 48 active companies within the NCC group, and we serve over 15,000 clients globally. We've got a wonderful team of two and a half thousand employees who serve our clients uh, and in total we process over 10 billion security events on a daily basis so that's some si si significant statistic uh, and our workday number is 2652 uh, and we've been utilizing workday therefore since about 2019. and then for our four building blocks which is our approach to tackling the preview window at the bottom there, you'll see plan. So we are planning to test the requirements and understanding who's going to be doing what. Next one up, we effectively communicate that plan to all the stakeholders around the business so they know what's expected of them and when. Next layer up, we execute our required testing during the window and deploy the new features. And finally, we would review. So at the top of that pillar, you see the review process and we evaluate the testing program and deployments, uh, and we learn of any new improvements that we can adopt moving forward. Thanks for that recap, uh, Carolyn. If any of the audience are listening and would like to know more um, about Carolyn's full planning approach uh, up to the release window, then please, again, do go visit our uh, KNOS website and the full webinar um, is there posted for you. So, Carolyn, um, I guess there's been a big sigh of relief um, just lately. Uh, we're testing and deployment now complete. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, just ask, you know, how has the release window been for you and the team? I'd say really good, Ian. Um, like for everyone, it's been very busy. Um, but all in all, the release window has been quite a smooth process for us this time. We did have some unexpected company announcements. That meant we had to amend our original testing plan and we had to reschedule some of the manual user interface testing to later within the preview window. Um, but luckily for us, that didn't affect us too much. As with everyone, we have month ends that threw some curveballs in um, at the team. And um, so, of course, we have to make sure that we still do things like pay colleagues, you know, complete the accounts and so on. So we have to do all the normal reporting that had to be built uh, into the readjusted plan. Probably one of the big things, the what's new list was quite a surprise to us. Um, no denying there was a bit of mild panic uh, when we first viewed that in the preview window, but we soon navigated our way through that. Uh, and I'll touch on that again shortly. We were fortunate to have smart tests and help us as well. Um, that saved us a, really a huge amount of time especially when, you know, other business tasks are thrown at us, like I've just explained, you know, unexpected activity. And, and that was definitely a big relief for NCC because with smart test running, we had over 18,000 tests being automatically carried out during that release window. And that's a scale that, you know, gives you peace of mind that the business processes are working as they should be. So for us, it was an absolute, you know, absolute must. And as far as deployments has been so far, that's been very successful. We are currently in our review phase. Uh, and so far, the business has been using the updates with no major issues reported. Uh, fantastic. Thanks for that little overview. And, you know, obviously very glad um, that all has gone smoothly for you. And you, you've just mentioned about smart test helping you. So I think uh, at this point, it'd be great for us um, just to bring Ema uh, into the conversation and for Ema to uh, to give us an, and share a quick top line overview with everyone of, of what smart test is, just so everyone has a little bit of context uh, around that. Pleasure to Ian. So let's take a look. Smart Test is the market leading automated testing solution designed exclusively for Workday, which we launched nine years ago and it now has over 350 clients. Smart Test has been built around the needs of Workday clients and being Workday customers ourselves, we really do understand some of the challenges faced, such as manual testing is time consuming. And often there are just too few experienced resources, such as SMEs, to support the testing. And as we're here discussing today, and as Carlin has just mentioned, the business doesn't stop when you're managing weekly updates or biannual release windows. So 
smart test. It is just more than a product. It's also managed a managed service by Kianos too. So our Workday certified consultants will scope our clients' requirements and their Workday configurations, build and deliver test packs, run weekly test packs for our clients, and triage testing for you with scheduled reporting review calls at your convenience. So all of this allows for you and your teams to focus on business critical tasks and not the repetitive testing. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that uh, quick overview. Hopefully that does provide um, some quick context for everyone. But let's jump back now to the, the release window. And um, Carolyn's has mentioned earlier that the pre-release you know, pre window, there was around 120 features on the detailed consideration list. Uh, and then, you know, over 1,100 items were actually uh, announced on the What's New list. So, Carolyn, I wonder if you could, could share with everyone, really, you know, how you and the team then, you know, kind of cope with this. And, um, you know, because from my perspective, I'm, I'm sure it can be a, a really daunting uh, at first when you suddenly, you know, you're preparing yourself for one kind of number. You've then got this 1,100 items uh, listed there. You know, uh, you know how, how do you how did you and the team go about it? Biggest thing, we hit the, the pause button there, Ian. Um, if anyone remembers from the first webinar, my golden rule is to plan, plan and plan. So first we needed to identify from that list um, the relevant new items for us to ensure that we still had a master list uh, of requirements, you know, a clean list to work to. Uh, and once we had that, we created a new testing schedule and we communicated that to the stakeholders. And that was including the subject matter experts that were helping us. And thankfully, whilst the team and I were busy doing that, Smart Test was already running our test packs in the background. So we had that information available um, right when we needed it. And that provided us with enough time to look at um, the rest of the new mandatory, well, the rest of the other uh, mandatory features which were available. Oh, brilliant. Um, is there a couple of new features that you wanted to call out for everyone, Carolyn? Yeah, I think there's two examples that I thought might be of interest to those who have the FINS modules. And the first was the payables aging report. Uh, and we noticed that for us, there was an improvement there. So when, what are those improvements? When running the report, first of all, the aging group defaults in if you only have one in your tenants. So that allows for easier selection criteria. And... Um, it's also now possible to remove the totals row in the aging report table and then display the totals in the new report totals at the top of the report. Um, and that enables you to easily navigate to your report totals. So having to scroll down, so you don't need to scroll down to the bottom of the list anymore. You can just see them as a headline. So that's the first one. So it's tidy up with the report. And the second one was to do with receiving purchase orders. Again, this was another unexpected change, but I think one that NCC perceived to be as a positive. So on the receiving of purchase orders, there were separate fields and that you used to be able to select, and they've been replaced by a single document number field. Uh, so when you click on the search, that box suggests the purchase orders and supply contracts that the user has previously raised. So that allows them to select much quicker than having to search through long lists. Uh, so the search results now show the number of the, well, the supplier name also um, in brackets. So that's really useful um, to help when you're trying to cross-reference and so on. Um, and finally, if there's already a draft receipt found for that purchase order, and um, you're given the option to edit that receipt again, which speeds up the, the reconciliation process of your real receipt in the real world versus what you have in Workday. Well, thank you for that detail. You know, really great to be able to share some examples um, with the audience there of, of some of those new features um, that you found. Uh, Ema, we, we've just heard, um, uh, you know, how, um, how Smart Test has, has helped Carolyn there. Uh, uh, have we got any detail that we could share that, um, you know, how Smart Test helped uh, our other clients uh, around the world? Absolutely. Let's take a look at that, Ian. So during the five week preview window, Smart Test has performed nearly seven million tests for our clients. This is equivalent to 50 years, five zero years of test execution time for our clients, allowing them to reinvest that spare capacity into other business critical tasks. 
seven million tests. Okay, that's quite some number. Um, and, and, and all of that volume, you know, how, how did that really help our clients? Yeah, so on the whole, and as Carolyn has mentioned, the preview window has progressed smoothly for our clients, which has been great. And Smart Test has been able to provide the reassurance and peace of mind based to our clients on the scale of the millions of tests performed. So this is especially important, as Carolyn mentioned earlier, business still keeps going during the preview window. Life is busy, stressful at times, and mistakes can happen. And during the preview window, we do notice an increase in testing failures due to this busy period. And in total, during R1, we were able to help our clients by finding unexpected occurrences within their configurations. Oh, brilliant. Um, really, really great to, to hear that. And um, nice to be able to share there with the listeners, you know, how smart tests and you know, automation there uh, can really help safeguard their tenants and configurations. So, Carolyn, thinking of the audience as well um, and, and trying to bring that in, um, I was just wondering, you know, have you got a top tip now for, for everyone for, for the next few months? We've just done a bit of a review there of, you know, of how um, testing has been, how the preview window has gone, um, some new features. But but what now? You know, we, we've just come, we've just done deployment. You know, what, what's your top tip for the next few months? Okay, uh, for me, it would be to invest time towards the new features. That would, that's what it would have to be for me, Ian. Um, as a business, we are still on a transformation journey for the next few years. And integral to that will be our Workday ecosystem. Um, so for us, making sure we have a clear roadmap of developments once, so what the business needs, is very important, as we can then align um, what those new features offer uh, and are releasing versus what we're trying to update. So to mention one, um, we want to investigate the intercompany settlement solution, as this will hopefully help um, allow to you know automate our solution between our internal um, between our internal companies. Uh, and for me also, and for the team, having a roadmap and clear direction also really helps for being prepared in advance. And that's for the new, the new release windows, as we're continually keeping an eye on what features are most important to us and seeing how Workday is developing and investing in them. And as we all know, R2, that's going to be on us before we know it. And Ian, I think I also want to mention um, that I know this isn't always easy to achieve because life is busy and trying to keep on the on top of the day-to-day -day tasks is difficult and keeping your tenants performing uh, and being secure as you want them to be. All that's a difficult balance. Um, but for me and my team, Time is created as smart tests uh, and the Kanos team are in the background and they're supporting us uh, and safeguarding us. And that allows us to be able to plan the roadmap thoroughly uh, because we're not having to need to manually test the changes. Oh, brilliant! Not to uh, not to to shock or put fear in anyone, really. But six months, uh, and we'll soon be doing uh, R two and and doing all of the testing again. So, um, thanks for that. You know, definitely will be here um, before we know it. Uh, Great top tip there. Loving that, Carolyn. But I actually also know that you've got a couple of others uh, that you wanted to share with everyone as well. So should we take a look at those? OK. Um, so on the screen, you'll be able to see a few of my little top tips, but let me just call out a couple of them. For me, along with reading the articles on community, um, I always watch the Workday feature videos. If Workday have invested the time and the money to create the videos, then clearly the feature is important. Um, and also what I've learned is to watch them more than once as often, you know, something that you, when you watch something the first time, there's things that you miss. And if you watch it a second time, you know, you'll, you'll be able to catch those things that you didn't quite catch the first time. Also for me, networking is so precious. It's so important, whether that's within the workday community via LinkedIn, you know, a rug event or a user group of some description, um, taking time to talk to one another is vital. Uh, and to be honest with everyone, NCC wasn't very good at that to begin. But now I find it great having the support um, as I've found over the years that, you know, with other peers, you have know, in-depth um, knowledge. Uh, they have knowledge in other areas that maybe we, we're not so strong in and vice versa. So it's reassuring, you know, it's reassuring to me to be able to talk and ask questions to them um, and get to, you know, to quickly get help. Uh, and for instance, in a more recent user group, um, I found that another business was able to use and develop a touchless process 
to send their bank files from Workday to NatWest. We use the same financial institution. And so we're now really interested in replicating that. And that will save us the need to retrieve the XML files from Workday and upload them onto the banking portal. I would never have known that if I hadn't been part of that user group. Uh, and definitely um, do note that not all the new features are listed on that feature list. And um, there were some great new features um, included, such as the updates and hidden gems, and they can be found by checking out the existing feature updates list within Workday. Uh, again, thank you for that. Some great tips um, for sharing with everyone and, and definitely about the community feel and um, and sharing uh, with everyone. So, again, you know, one of the reasons uh, why we're here today. Um, building on that and talking about, um, you know, new features, hidden gems that you were talking about there. Um, I, I was wondering um, if you'd share with everyone some of those new features now that, you know, you've been able to take a look at um, and that you're actually going to be building into your uh, roadmap for the, the forthcoming months. Sure, Ian. You'll see on the screen that there are a few here. and um, I'll just pick out a few of them. But as I mentioned earlier, um, we are lucky because with smart tests taking care of our regression tests, that's allowed us time to investigate some of these optional new features during the release window. Uh, and we can see them on screen. Um, and, you know, for us, we'll be building them into our um, roadmap to implement at some point in the future. So the ones I'll call out, um, intercompany settlement, that enables you to enter one-sided intercompany transactions between two companies when only one of them is actually transacting within Workday. Um, and that can be made available for settlement and for reconciliation. So we will explore this as a means to manage the pay down of our legacy intercompany balances as we move towards adopting the direct intercompany solution and that's in our current roadmap. The next one to call out is the customer invoice write-off. For us that's a new feature which will default in the work tax on the invoice header to the write-off lines and that saves us processing efforts of the workers and also eliminating the manual data corrections that we've had to do as a result of that historically. So Workday has caused an issue for us before, um, and we've had to address that um, by another means, things like custom validations and so on. So that means if we change anything at the moment, we need to go and review that configuration. So hopefully this particular feature will make that process um, more efficient for us um, as we go into the future. And we'll, we'll be more flexible, I guess, um, as we deal with other changes that um, are also happening within our organisation. Um, and then the last one that I wanted to call out was a new reporting workday. It's called Find Settlement Runs with document, no, with document name. So with this report, you can access the XML files that come out of the um, settlement process. So these are the bank integration files. Um, so you can extract them more easily and upload them onto the banking portal without having to navigate down through the integration events. So for us, that saves a lot of time. You probably got a flavor from a couple of seconds ago you know, that we do have a, a number of banks where we have to go and retrieve the bank files and upload them onto the banking portal. So for us, that is a win. Oh, some fab new features there, Karen. Definitely sounds like they're going to be helping you and the business and your team uh, throughout your, your transformation program. Um, you've mentioned a couple of times there over, over the last um, few slides on how smart test you know has been helping you during the, the the release window, but you know smart test obviously you have that all year round. So I was just wondering if you could talk uh, through with, with everyone you know how how smart test actually helps you all you know all all, all round um, you know um, throughout the year. Honestly, in in so many ways. So for anyone that knows me, um, I love my sleep uh, and smart tests does help me to sleep that bit easier. But on a serious note, um, having smart tests really does allow me to relax more and I feel more comfortable with our configurations because I am sure as the listeners are aware of, when you are manually testing things, things will get missed. Uh, so it's just impossible within the confines time that you have to cover everything. But smart test performs at scale for us, as I mentioned earlier. Over 18,000 tests were performed during that five-week preview window alone. 
And so when you've got that quantity of test uh, reporting back, no fails, it really does provide you with um, a sense of security that everything's okay and it's performing as we would expect it to. Uh, and also for me, the KNOS team are very much a part of my team. And um, we have our sit down sessions each week and that illustrates the coverage that we have from the test packs. We're able to focus on identified unexpected issues such as a security change. And that's beneficial to us to investigate and resolve quickly, particularly if they are things that we didn't expect to happen. And I also love the data insights and intelligence that's available to us now. I mean, previously you would have had to rely upon somebody testing manually and then actually telling you of the findings. And um, so not anymore with multiple insights, they're all available to me on dashboards. And uh, so I can see them on a weekly basis and reach back to them whenever I need them. Again, for us as NCC, um, as a business, we are continuing to change. And smart tests helps us to ensure that our, our internal controls, like security, is performing um, correctly. And for us, that's hugely important because we've got UK SOX compliance coming up uh, and we're going to need to be able to provide evidence and smart tests are going to be key to that, um, which that's a real reassurance for, for, you know, for us and for the auditing of our processes and our controls. Brilliant. Thank you. I'm really, really pleased um, to hear how Smart Test really does uh, help you all, all year round. So, Yima, um, we've obviously heard there from Carolyn, um, Smart Test, you know, utilising tenant to tenant comparisons, monitoring business process changes, um, you know, helping throughout the preview window, etc. Um, I was actually wondering if we could take a, take a look at Smart Test, if that's all right with you. Absolutely, Ian. So just to explain, I'm going to run through three demos for you. The first one will be a tenant to tenant comparison for integrations testing. And that's going to illustrate a typical report during week one of the preview window for our clients. The second is a financial business process change, which will show how unexpected occurrences or changes are illustrated. And the third is all around our services support, how our Canos consulting team supports our clients. OK, to start, here's a visual describing our integration comparison offering within Smart Test. First of all, Smart Test will launch the outbound integration on both tenants at the same time. It will then extract the integration deliverable output files from both tenants. And then these are compared, giving a side by side comparison of any discrepancies found in the structure or the data. So let's see how this looks in Smart Test. So here we have a typical example of what clients received during week one of the preview window. The dashboard is providing an overview of the test packs completed and results. As we can see, we have some unexpected results that have been returned by way of failures from the tenant to tenant results. So if we click onto the integrations pack link, it will take us through to view the next level of details, highlighting where the fails have occurred. So here in the integrations comparison pack, we can view a host of information. And if we click the integrations pack link, we can start to view the field tests. So now we can see that one of the tests has failed. And by clicking the ID, we can see the next level of detail highlighting the unexpected test event which here on screen we can see is line 2663, illustrating the difference whereby Sandbox Preview now includes United States of America, which is different to the Sandbox tenant. Okay, next up. So let's consider a fairly basic business process that will create a supplier invoice. Smart Test will handle this process with ease. So simply provide it with some relevant data, and it will automatically navigate from one stage to the next, allowing you to validate that your business processes are operating as expected. However, in any organization, one thing is certain, and that is change. And that's exactly what happens here. And additional approval steps have been added to the business process. And Smart Test is able to handle these automatically. Once a process has been completed, Smart Test will automatically mark this test for investigation due to the changes. If your automated tests have uncovered a bug in your configuration, you can use Smart Test as evidence as to where these have occurred and what has triggered them. 
And if these changes are now part of your standard procedures, Smart Test can easily be updated to reflect this. All you need to do is mark the test as passed, and Smart Test will do the rest. Okay, so moving on now, here we can see a snapshot of a report for invoice payments with an approval sequence. Within the report headline, we can clearly see that we have a feel between the previous process sequence and the current. So if we scroll down, we can see that indeed steps three and four here within the processes are now missing. This could be by accident, or indeed the approval flow has, might have been amended, but the test packs have yet to be updated. So in either case, we need to inform the client of this unexpected behavior. By having this insight and being able to clearly demonstrate the steps that are missing, and as Carolyn mentioned earlier, it now allows for quick investigation and if needed, corrective measures to reinstate, reinstate the steps, or if confirmed to be correct by the client, the test scripts can be easily updated and the test re-executed. So as Carolyn mentioned, the Kano's testing team are like an extension to the NCC group. So here, I wanted to share the service support that our clients receive. So on screen here is a typical example of an email overview clients will receive. Instantly, clients are informed that two changes have been identified and helpful links are included to quickly navigate to the dashboard and issue tracker. So if we click on the link, it will take us to our updated dashboard. So here we have the dashboard overview, indicating the pass and fail rates for financials. The dashboard allows for a quick review and easy navigation into the issue tracker. So if we click on the issue tracker link at the top of the screen, we will be taken to view the relevant issues. So now we can see further detail of the reported changes. To drill down further to see precise details, we can click on the relevant ID number. We are now able to read a description of the test issue and underneath the action required to resolve. For speed of navigation, by clicking back, we return to the issues tracker page. And we simply repeat the process by clicking on the ID to be able to view the next issue to investigate. As like the previous, we have a description informing us of the issues to investigate, which in this in this here one, we can see that um, there's an instance here where two less approval steps compared to the previous execution, which were assigned to the call center manager and controller. So with this detail, clients can now confirm that a new approval process has been implemented or investigate as to why both the call center manager and controller have been removed from the BP. So to quickly recap, smart test for everyone. Our customers consistently reduce their own testing effort by up to 90% using smart test automation. With scalable testing, making improvements and changes can be made confidently, knowing that safeguards are in place with smart test. There is a reduced risk with thousands of quality, consistent tests performed automatically for you. And as we've heard from Carlin today, Smart Test is an extension to your team with certified workday testing expertise for you. Fantastic, Ema. Thank you so much for those demonstrations and that recap there. So uh, before we head into the Q&A session, a very quick note just to say that if you would like to find out more about Smart Test um, and it, the, the solution it can offer you, or to chat to one of our consultants about your workday configuration, you know, please do reach out to the team. Um, they'll definitely be pleased to help you uh, with a demo, um, you know, or even a one-to-one -one workshop with you. Uh, as you can see, the QR code is on screen, so uh, you can zap that to take take you through to our booking form, or we've just also pasted uh, within the chat there as well uh, a link through to our booking form on the website. So. Some time uh, definitely for some q and I think. Um, thank you to those who've raised questions during registration. Um, we have compiled them here uh, and grouped them all together. Um, so we're going to have uh, we're going to have a read through some of those um, now. Um, I'm actually going to start with Ema uh, because uh, one of the questions we had was what aspects uh, and modules can uh, Smart Test uh, actually perform for everyone. 
Okay, so Ian, smart tests can automate across a range of areas and key functionality, including HCM, financials, payroll, recruiting, advanced comp, and more. Too many to fully list in the short amount of time we've left, but a very quick top line. Some examples are HCM with business process automation within core HCM, absence, time tracking, recruitment, advanced comp, eligibility testing within compensation, benefits, absence, data staging, Financials, we have business process automation, account posting rule testing, custom validation testing. Within payroll, we have pay component testing. Security, we can perform various different tests. Integrations, we have comparison during weekly tests, the preview window tests, and similar with reports, we have comparisons for weekly tests and during the preview window, and much, much more. Brilliant. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just uh, just reading a bit there, some of the other questions. So um, this one's come in. Carolyn, I'm going to point it your way, if that's OK. And it says, how often are you updating your roadmap and how long does it take you and the team to adopt uh, new features into your business? OK, and um, I would say for NCC, our roadmap is reviewed unofficially on about a quarterly basis at the moment. And that is, is in part due to the changes in leadership in NCC uh, and the direct, directional changes that have come as a result of that. I'd like to think that we'll hit a more stable period um, soon. Uh, but in terms of the new feature adoptions, these tend to take longer uh, than I'd like because of the bigger ticket changes that we've had to deal with and actually that we are still dealing with. Um, so I think some of the smaller quick wins can be done within a couple of weeks. I think it really depends on the complexity uh, and if we need to consider impacts on processes that lead up to that new feature or um, are that follow that new feature. So it, it does depend on the complexity of the feature change. Okay, thank you for that one. Um, just looking and reading. Okay, Ema, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back to you because um, the next question that's coming is is how long uh, does it take to implement a smart test? Okay. That's a great question, Ian. Um, so we work closely with our clients to ensure we deliver value to the business as early as possible. We'll onboard our customers as quickly as we can so they can start to use Smart Test right away. Most customers will start with security, for example, which we can get up and running in really just a few weeks. We'll then work with our customers to define a phased rollout. Unfortunately, I can't really provide a precise timescale of this as it totally depends on the individual client BP complexities, how many modules are to be implemented, etc. Brilliant. Uh, I'm just seeing there's a question about asking whether this um, webinar and, and the video will be shared. Absolutely. Um, we'll be we'll be hosting um, this one on our website uh, again, like the others. So do look out for um, for that one. Um, Ina, don't go away. Uh, you're not off the hook yet uh, because the next question says, how flexible is smart test um, in being able to keep up with changes of your workday configuration? Okay, um, another great question, Ian. So I am pleased to say that smart test dynamically reacts to change. So the way that we have built it means that smart test reads your configuration at runtime and it will pick up any changes that are made. These could be changes to your business process steps, your custom validations, your condition rules, your eligibility rules, any configuration changes really. It's the ultimate regression test tool as it ensures your workday configuration is continuing to work as expected. As described earlier, smart test is more than a tool. With our managed service offering, our Workday certified consultants will triage and investigate any changes that have taken place and provide updates with the scheduled reporting review calls that take place at your convenience. Brilliant, brilliant, thank you. Um, okay, Caroline, I'm gonna ask you this one. Um, please be kind. Uh, wh why did you choose Smart Test and how uh, did it take a lot of convincing internally to procure. Okay, and um, it's probably fair to say, well, Smart Test is a Knos product and Knos are a Workday implementation partner providing support across the multiple services. So we gained confidence in the know-how that they were fully understood uh, in, you know, in terms of the Workday product that's understood in depth. Um, we also had heard that Workday and Workday team also utilised smart tests. 
So for me, it felt like a bit of a no brainer for us. I mean, why would you choose um, anyone else to support you in automated testing when these kind of smart are actually the experts? I don't think there were any providers in a better position uh, to support here. Um, and so for me, once this was understood, there was little more required to convince NCC to actually invest in the smart product. Oh, thank you for that. You were kind after all, which is great. Thank you. <laughs> so everyone, we've um I'm going to wrap up the session now um, here. So um, it, we've, you know, the time has flown uh, really quickly. Um, so I do want to just say thank you um, to our panelists, um, Ema and Carolyn, for sharing all of their wonderful insights. Thank you so much to all of you for listening today. Uh, we really do hope you found the session insightful. Um, we've heard, uh, you know, prioritizing techniques to help with testing, findings from testing to conducted during the release window, a look at some of those new workday features of interest there from Carolyn, and some top tips uh, on those months ahead. Um, you know, critical now um, with your roadmap and building up uh, to the next release window. Uh, and certainly, hopefully, there you've uh, been able to gain a little bit of an insight on how um, automation can really help you. Um, both for the release window and uh, uh, throughout the rest of the year as well. So some really fantastic topics discussed. Um, definitely appreciate that there'll be a mix of workday experience here with us listening today, but um, we do hope that we've uh, been able to blend something in there for all of you. So a huge thank you to our panellists, Carol and Ema. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to everyone behind the scenes who help uh, create these webinars for you. Um, and from me, until next time, uh, goodbye.